Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here at Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, my favorite indoor facility, with the new Taurus 856 Defender. This is a new version of the original 856 that came out a year or so ago. This one has a three inch barrel. Uh, unlike the original 856 that was two inches, there's only like seven or eight different varieties of this revolver. Um, it is both available in steel and an alloy frame and a couple of other fancy uh, configurations with different grips and different, you know, coloring and whatever. What I'm going to tell you is the difference between the steel version, which is this one, and the alloy version is half the weight from 17 and a half ounces for the alloy frame to 35 ounces on this one which some people might say, oh, that's too heavy or that's too light. That's how they make both. So there's, uh, you know, an opportunity for you to have the revolver that you really want. Features starting from the front is uh, a Mary Glow front side that is pinned in is, this one is orange with a tritium insert in the middle. Of course, fixed sights, double action, single action. And this is a very small frame revolver. So you might consider this to be you know, a smaller frame, but one cool thing, it has six shots. So unlike some of the other small frame revolvers, this one gives you opportunity to, for one more round and still gives you the lighter weight. I really like, I prefer the heavier gun myself, okay? But that's what they make two different versions, right? So also it comes from the factory, the standard models come with rubber hole grips with finger grooves in it. I am not a big fan of the finger grooves, but this one happens to fit my hand perfectly well. Um, if it didn't, I would have removed the finger grooves with a little sandpaper or something like that, or a little Dremel and it'll finish. But I hope Hogue eventually makes a different version of this grip without the grooves and makes it just a little bit bigger for people with bigger hands, but still gives you a good grip on the revolver. Okay. So what I'm gonna do today, we're gonna shoot it for the first time. I haven't fired it yet. Um, and I'm gonna try it with the Fiocchi 130 grain full metal jacket ammunition that goes about 950 feet per second. So we'll try this ammo, see how it shoots. Haven't tried it before, so let's go do it. Okay, let's start first with hearing protection. Be safe all the time. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shoot five rounds instead of six with my first few cylinders. I like the five round groups. I wanna see how it feels. And because I never fired this revolver before, see how it works. Let's go ahead and try it. Single action first. Okay, first things first, um, I need to work on keeping my, tucking my thumb, my support hand thumb more into the grip because I'm such a, you know, pistol shooter that I keep my thumbs forward. That's not a good idea with revolvers. And one thing, it's blasty. This ammo is pretty uh, powerful and I can feel it. I can definitely feel it. So I'll try it a couple more rounds and see how, it, how I get used to it. I'm shooting a tad to the left, but I'll fix it and I'll go ahead and get used to it. One thing about it that I found out, the dot, the uh, tritium dot inside of this front sight is in the middle of the front sight. If you put the tritium um, dot in between the rear sights, you shoot high. So I tried that a couple of times. I shot fairly high. I'm going to try it again, leveling the front sight, pretty much burying that tritium point there a little bit lower and see if I can just bring my group down a little bit. Let's try it again. And tucking my thumb in. This looks good, let's shoot it a little more. Let me go down, down up front, paste up, put a new target up, and I'll show you how it shoots.
As you can see, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. I think it's a really good um, revolver, great startup revolver for the price. That's the cool thing about Taurus products. You'll get a lot for a little bit of money. Actually, you know, this is good enough that I think it earned, earned its place at my night table. I've had other revolvers. I like to have a double action, single action revolver in my night table. I think it's a good choice. It's going to be going on with some really good uh, defensive ammo on my night table. One little detail I want to tell you about that I forgot before is about the detent on the crane. Um, this is a feature that you get more from the higher end revolvers on custom revolvers. It's a detent that will actually allow you, allows the revolver to have two locking points, one in the back of the cylinder onto the frame and on the crane itself on the frame. So you're getting really tight uh, lockup in your revolver. That's something that you usually have to pay extra money. I remember back in the 80s and 90s, you had to pay extra money to get that ball detent put in. This one comes from the factory for a very modest price. So I would say, yeah, it's a good choice. Um, I know some people like the lighter revolvers. I don't. I think it would be really snappy to shoot this revolver with a 17 and a half um, ounce uh, weight on the revolver. But hey, maybe that's something that you'd rather have that lighter weight to carry it every day. So, hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more on the Taurus 856 Defender Revolver. And remember, be safe and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.